So I'm just thoroughly enjoying the drive uh, running parallel to, to the St. Lawrence River here, uh, which is off to my right a little ways. But it's just uh, mind-blowing. You know, it's like along the road, you know, we're cutting through these like reddish rock formations and yeah, but then those are uh, contrasted by some of the greenest vegetation God I've ever seen. It's it's like the trees, the grass, the bushes, everything is like extra green. Maybe owing to the to the influence of the river. Yeah, there's these little marshy areas and rivulets and larger rivers like crossing under the road and draining down into the St. Lawrence and um, yeah it's just uh, all these amazing contrasts and you know and then there's the sky you know it's this huge sky um, God, everywhere I look God, look at how green those yeah there's like cocktail Oh, God, and then to my left, you can't see that, but there's like a river running through the forest, and on each side of the river is just a sea of, of grass and cattails, and then the forest on either side. Uh, and then we go through these, like, rocky areas here. It's just amazing. Like, it's, you know, take away the mountains, and the, it's, it reminds me a lot of, like, Colorado with the rocks. Um... But then there's all this lush vegetation mixed in with it. Just incredible. So this is Wellesley Island State Park, uh, or part of it. It's huge uh, on the island of, well, on Wellesley Island and the Thousand Islands in New York State. So it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And um, so this is a marina behind me. And then over here, those are all like rock cliffs along the water there. And um, I'm just gonna go out on this little peninsula island over here that's all rocky, see what's going on. What a place though. Holy crap. So that's two Canada geese over there with what looks like 20 goslings. Those are two prolific goose parents. So, just chilling out on this island. Well, actually, rocky peninsula on an island, and it's a huge island. It's like seven miles long, but it's the Thousand Islands in the St. Lawrence uh, River. And what you're seeing here is just some of those islands, and I'm on one of them. My campsite is on this island. And I'm just in a small little sliver of this state park. The beauty of this place is astonishing. And I've only got one day here. Kind of reminds me of when I was in the Catskills. I was like, oh, only one day. And then I was three days in a marshy area of the Adirondacks. I should have been here. Island off in the distance with somebody's got a house on it. Tons of that here. And I'm just on this little, 
I'm just on this little rocky peninsula jutting out and there's hundreds, hundreds of these. It just goes down to crystal clear water. Yep, boy, Driftwood Campground on the Ottawa River has a, <laughs> has a high bar to meet. Look at that. So now I'm coming still just on this little tiny peninsula that's jutting out into the water here. Just a big slab of rock in the St. Lawrence River. See if I can focus in without being abrupt. And that is basically what this whole island is like just cliffs and forests and crystal clear water. And literally thousands of islands. That's why it's called the Thousand Islands region. I mean, I could spend, <laughs> I could spend a day just exploring this little rocky peninsula that's maybe a hundred yards long and 40 yards wide. It's forested, it's rocky. It's surrounded by little cliffs that go down into crystal clear water. Wow. So again, I'm still just on this little peninsula. I'm looking down here at the water and I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but no, I don't think it will. But I can see to the bottom of that body of water over there. I mean, it's, I won't say it's like being in Greece. It's not that clear because there is some vegetation in there, but my God, that water is clear. Um, you know, and it is pretty stony at the bottom, so that helps, but, whew, man. I mean, I've only got a couple of hours to explore this whole park. I could spend a week here easily. Uh, it's a huge park, and Yeah, where to even begin? Um, yeah, this would have been an ideal place to bring. Uh oh, I'm cut off from the parking lot. My Canada geese with their goslings. What do I do? If I try to walk through there, they'll attack me. I could run. I think I might do that. They know something is afoot. All right, I think I'm gonna just try to go around them, maybe go to the bathroom while I'm at it, over at the restrooms over there. Wish me luck. All right, I got past the 
brood of Canada geese without getting attacked. That was close. I was stuck between two groups, but I made it. Close call. So I'm a little broken hearted here. I'm, I'm heading out of the Wellesley Island State Park. Um, you know, I got here late in the day to, to the Thousand Islands region and checked into my site. I mean, it was like five o'clock by the time I got into my site. And, um, and then I've just been exploring the island and eventually found the state park here. And it's time for me to, it's quarter of seven, it's time for me to get out of here. And it breaks my heart because this place is so beautiful. So this is my campsite location here on the St. Lawrence River. I'm gonna call this Coffee Rock because this is probably where I'm gonna drink my coffee in the morning. But um, this actually isn't the St. Lawrence River. This is the little, this is, well, not so little bay that's inside of the island that I'm currently on, Wellesley Island. And it's about seven to eight, maybe nine miles long. Uh, it's a big island. But, yeah. St. Lawrence River. Happy to say that's fog and not smoke. Crossing over the rest of the St. Lawrence River into Canada. My God, it's beautiful down there. Holy moly. And that was just a little, a little tiny bit Please forgive the camera work, it's just unavoidable. But yeah, geez Louise. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the Canadian Channel. I crossed over the American Channel yesterday. I'm in Canada. That took all of about two minutes, but it was a little, I don't know, man, just something about crossing a border and getting questioned by a customs officer. He asked if I'd ever been arrested and, uh, you know, <clears throat> just those weird little questions that make you feel guilty, even though you're not. But yeah, I'm in Canada. And of course he told me to have a nice day and enjoy my stay. Uh, so here we go, new country, let the adventure continue. 